Today we're in Harvest in Argyle, Texas, where we'll be featuring a David Weekly home, an award-winning lifestyle award, and this neighborhood has four pools, two workout facilities, a coffee shop, a community garden, full-time lifestyle director who plans monthly events for all the residents, an outdoor pavilion, dog parks, walking trails, and so much more. Hi, welcome in. I'm Betty with the Living in Dallas, Texas team, and today we're gonna to be featuring this David Weekly home. This is on a 70-foot lot. This home features 3,450 square feet, four bedroom, three baths, and a three-car garage that comes standard. The base price of this home starts off in the 680 range, but this one with all of the upgrades is in the low 900,000 price point. So we're gonna start off, we're here in the foyer area. You're gonna notice beautiful lighting in the entire home. The light fixtures, they're really, really just fun, interesting. Um, this home is a Texas traditional style, and so you're gonna notice that. It is very um, timeless, that's what I would call it, that's the word. The floors, the type of floors that you see here are a really beautiful, um, kind of a marble wood color, um, oak, but also you have some uh, darker tones within it, which I think is a really, really cool feature. Before we go into the rest of the home, we're gonna start off with the study that's right off of the entryway. Really great size study and with really great light. You're gonna notice the windows, all of the windows in this house are actually beautiful big size windows that let in a lot of natural light. But one thing that I will point out is that all of the window ledges here are super, super wide. The reason for that is that they, this builder is known for its energy efficiency and so they actually have wider exterior walls which offers better ener energy efficiency and they're also better insulated. So that is a really cool thing that you don't see very often so we definitely want to point that out. And in this space, you have a lot of elbow room, you have a couple picture windows um, in the study, and right here you'll notice that this is completely wide open, but there is an option to add French doors if you would like, if you prefer, an enclosed study area. So right over here, we're gonna cut across the foyer area and we're gonna head in to the first bedroom on the first floor, which I'm gonna mention, this is actually uh, bedroom number two on the first floor, which is a very popular feature. A lot of times uh, families are looking to have a second bedroom aside from the primary bedroom on the first floor for a nursery or for out-of-town guests or mother-in-law suite, that kind of thing. But you will notice, again, you have these beautiful windows, uh, nice natural light, and you'll also notice that this room overlooks a super cool, awesome Texas traditional front porch. Everybody loves that. That's where you can sit, sit, wave to the neighbors while everybody's walking by. So it's really, really great. Um, a lot of space. You have a walk-in closet. A lot of times in secondary bedrooms, you have really small closets, but this one has a really nice size closet. So we're gonna come on over, and here you see your very first full bath in the home, and it has really awesome features. So you not only have this great granite, uh, but you have the stand-up shower that they added this really cool tile. It's actually, it actually has like a kind of a metallic uh, finish to it, and it's really cool uh, to, to look at. I think it just adds a really interesting accent uh, to the bathroom. So as we cut across here, we're gonna be walking through. Again, this is kind of the extended foyer area. And before we head upstairs, to check out all the awesomeness that's going on upstairs. Before we do that, there's a cool little hallway that kind of just leads you through. We're gonna take a walk through it because I think it's kind of cool. There's a little feature wall where you can hang all of your family pictures or um, you know artwork or whatever, whatever you'd like to do. But this space leads you directly into your coffee bar area and then your mudroom. I think right here what they did in this space is really awesome. As you're coming in from the garage, you can have all of, of the kids' items, shoes, jackets, backpacks, have them all dropped off right in this area before you head in to, you know, for the rest of your day. So I think that's really awesome. And one more thing to point out right behind me here, behind the mud area, is that laundry room. 
And what's cool about that is that there's a ton of space in there. Not only you have great storage above it, but you also have counter space so that you can do your folding and you know, all of your matching of your socks. That's a fun little activity that you get to do when you're doing laundry, right? So I'm gonna head back through this space because showing you the main living area from this angle is really awesome. You're gonna see this moment right here, how this just opens up you have an entire open concept living area where you see an amazing, huge island. I mean, seriously, I'm not even sure how many chairs you can fit around this space. I'm thinking probably five or six, which is kind of unheard of. Normally it's two to four. So you have a lot of space here in the island area, and then you have this amazing six burner range, which is super cool for all the fun family meals that you're gonna have here, you're gonna notice so much cabinet space, which I think is really great, especially if you have a large family and you like to entertain, you're gonna need all of the space and the countertops just keep going and going. There's a lot of counter space in this kitchen, a lot of storage space. You have really, what I, I love what they did with the shaker cabinets here. You have your handles, which is really helpful to have so that you can open very easily. And then of course you have your built-in. I like how they, you know, having that refrigerator kind of built in makes the space look even more finished when you have that um, included as well. So heading right over here, this is the dining area and I just love how this whole space is laid out. You have room here, this table has room for six, but I actually think you could probably fit a table for eight or even 10. And again, the windows, they don't stop in this space. You have windows all the way around. And again, the ledges and that exterior wall with that, uh, with the energy efficiency features, that continues all the way around the home. So that is honestly one of the best things that you can have in a home. You wanna make sure that you're cool during the summer and that you're nice and heated during the winters. So that's a great feature to have. Okay, so before we cut into the living room area, first I wanna point out that awesome chandelier over the dining table. I think it's super cool. Now I wanna share a couple things about the neighborhood before I head into the living area, and that is that if you like what you see so far, you definitely wanna come out as soon as possible. There are 25 lots available and six spec homes. So a spec home is when the builder has already started construction on these properties, and so you'll be able to close on them quicker. So that's why spec homes are kind of awesome because you get to move in sooner. And aside from that, one thing to note about this Harvest neighborhood is that it's been here for 10 years. So it's very well established. Um, they feed right into the Argyle ISD school district, which is top rated and they have an on-site elementary school. So I wanted to make sure that you knew all those things. So here's the living room, so much space. You can definitely have a party here, which everybody is sure to have a great time. And my favorite part about this room is the fireplace. I love painted brick. And so this, what they did here is from the floor all, all the way to the ceiling, um, they just have this really nice, it's very clean lines. Um, you have your mantle here and the white painted brick. So I think it's super cool and it looks really beautiful. And we're gonna cut across here. I think now it's probably a good time for us to head upstairs. We'll save the best for last, which is my favorite room is always the primary uh, bedroom, but we'll keep that for just a moment. You'll have to stay to the end to, to see that. So let's go on upstairs. You'll also notice these super cool um, uh, wood stairs, which a lot of times you see carpeted stairs but this is also a really nice feature that the builder has in this home. So let's take a look. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit more about the neighborhood. This Harvest neighborhood, they have their own community garden. So you're actually able to harvest your own fruits and vegetables. I think that's pretty awesome. So, okay, let's take a look at this space right here where is, it, it is a massive game room and kind of play area. There's actually two distinct different areas. So you can do whatever you'd like if you wanna do kind of a study area for the kids on this side. You can do an arts and crafts area, gaming area. But then over here, this is where you can sit down and watch the movies and have 
whether you want to watch the football game or, um, or just movie night with the family, I think they did a really great job in this space and it's really inclusive of everybody's different um, desires and wants and needs and you know kind of fun activity time. So let's take a walk right over here across this kind of landing area and I want to show you this is the a full bathroom on the second floor which is um, shared by the two bedrooms that are here but what I love that they did in here is that they extended the countertop space so you are able to, uh, sometimes secondary bathrooms are a little tight and the counter space is kind of shortened, but they didn't do that here. They really gave you a lot of space. Of course, you have your other ne necessary bathroom components, of course, but you have really cool tile with that kind of green inset, um, uh, kind of glass mosaic type tile. So that's a nice feature. And then they did this really large kind of, it almost has a marble-like uh, look to it, but that's a ceramic tile that you have on the floor here. So heading in to the um, bedrooms, this first one, the second you walk in, you will notice a flood of light that comes into this room. Again, these windows, that I think is probably one of my favorite things of the entire house. The way that the windows, the size of the windows, the way that they're positioned, just lets in so much light. And this room is super roomy, lots of space. Um, this is a full size bed, but you could fit probably up to a queen in here. And if you look up again with the fun accent kind of lighting fixtures that they have, it's a fun little chandelier, um, which is super cool with this kind of pink themed ballerina room. So I think that was a nice touch. Now we're gonna head on out and come into the Texas Ranger themed bedroom. And again, you're gonna notice really great lighting, really nice little kind of ledge here, which you could also use this if you wanted to, to have some kind of some books on here or some nice little decor items. But you see how roomy this space is. Again, this we're looking at a full size bed, but you could do about a queen in here and you have a walk-in closet. So that's important to note because typically secondary bedrooms, they are usually, they feel so tight and small with smaller closets, but not these rooms. Both of the rooms up here on the second floor have so much space and include walk-in closets. So I thought that's a really, really great feature of the home as well. So now we're gonna head downstairs to check out that primary bedroom. But before we do that, the backyard is pretty awesome. So let's take a look there. So aside from the amazing, highly rated schools, um, Argyle ISD, aside from that, this neighborhood just has so much activity. Um, people are constantly walking their dogs. They're also, um, kids are out constantly on the street playing. So that's just really cool, just to have a really great, vibrant neighborhood. Uh, before we go into the primary bedroom, which is my favorite part of the house, we're gonna check out this, bath, this uh, backyard and I can hear it now. The birds are chirping. Can you hear it? It's kind of cool. This has an amazing extended covered patio. Talk about entertaining. You'll have some great parties back here. It's a little windy today, but take a look at this. You have room for dining. You have this outside living kind of a area where you can lounge if you want. You can actually put a TV up there. Also, if you wanted to come out here and um, watch, you know, game day out on a TV here. But there's just so much space that we typically don't see patios that are this large. So that's a, that's a really cool thing that you can have and enjoy with your family. Um, another thing about this neighborhood, because it's been here for a little over 10 years and they are in their final phase, you're gonna notice that there's so much more kind of greenery and mature trees. I think that adds a lot to the neighborhood and kind of the look and feel of the space all around. Okay, let's head back inside and check out that, that primary bedroom. Okay, so let me remind you that there are 25 lots available and six spec home available in this neighborhood. And now that we are gonna be wrapping up this final phase, um, there is a new phase that's coming and it's gonna be featuring a new concept with patio homes. So keep an eye out for that or reach out to us and we can give you more information on that. Okay, now we are in this really amazing and spectacular primary bedroom and the first thing you're gonna notice is all the natural light. 
These windows are spectacular. I love what they did with the drapery and how they hung it. Um, it actually draws your eye all the way to the top and uh, kind of elongates the entire space. Now this ceiling is definitely higher than normal as far as height. And so it adds so much, it's so much more spacious. Um, that's how it feels, kind of a light and airy and bright feel to this space. And you'll notice that this is a king size bed and you still have a lot of space all the way around. Even with the extra furniture where you have these night tables and then you have a dresser, it still feels quite spacious in this space. And before we transition into that primary bathroom that you're gonna love, let me just point out this light fixture that's super cool. They just added, it adds such a nice little kind of fun pop and touch to the space. It's kind of a pendant hanging kind of a chandelier, but it's super cool, I love it. So we're gonna walk over, we're gonna transition in, Wait till you see this primary bath and kind of closet area. It's pretty spectacular. Okay, the first thing you're gonna notice is that you have your dual vanities and they're across from each other. So let me tell you what's cool about this. They both have extended countertop space. Normally you have one that is very clearly his and the one that's double the size is hers. But here they both have a good amount of counter space. And what I love that they did here is this black granite countertops with that white shaker cabinet. It's just a really nice classic look, really, really great. And they added a window. This is a picture window that they have in the primary bathroom area and it lets in a lot of natural light. So of course I'm gonna say as a, as a girl, makeup application, all that natural light is really helpful. We like that. Now this shower, I'm, I'm gonna walk into it because it's that cool. So you have this kind of, it's a brick pattern, uh, ceramic tile that they have, that they included here. And I love this inset. This is where you can keep all your, you know, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, all of those things. But I love how they inset it and it kind of, you know, tucks away all of those items. And you have beautiful accented tile on the floor here. They did a really, really great job. And then you have this really sleek uh, glass um, that's uh, kind, of, kind of encompassing the whole shower. And that rain shower head, uh, you can't miss that because that's a really cool feature too. So for all the ladies, I know you're gonna love this. And of course, guys too, come on in and check out this closet space. So they kind of thought of everything. They have tons of hanging space all the way around. And then you also have space here, some uh, kind of shelving space if you wanna, uh, if you have a shoe collection, if you have a purse collection. What they've done here, they've also added a little kind of accessory area to the closet. And so this is really great. And even, even more space if you kind of, <laughs> Right over here, there's a whole kind of cutout with additional storage space, and that's where you can keep bags, suitcases. Um, honestly, you can have pets down there too if you want to put their slide their crate in in that area. But it's really cool how they just are giving you every single square footage available for additional storage space. This is probably you can either make it a great little sitting area. Or, of course, what I would do is I would uh, have a mirror installed right in here so that you can make sure that you, you know, that your outfit looks the way you want it to before you walk out. So that concludes this primary closet area and we're gonna head back out front to wrap up this tour. So I hope you love the tour of the home. And if you haven't heard of David Weekly in the past, they're actually a 46 year old company and they are the largest privately held uh, company in the entire country. So whether you're looking to move, whether it's nine days or 90 days, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. All of the information is in the description box below. We look forward to seeing you and showing you around town.